Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited to show you my latest IQO acquisition. This is the 1944 World War II War Horse, and it's meant to go with their Ronin Dew figure. And if you recall, I did a review of the Ronin Dew figure about a year ago now. So if you want to see that figure in more detail, go check out that review. But in this video, I really want to focus on the War Horse. This is an incredible set. I've been really wanting to get it for um, well, about a year now, and I finally got one. It's kind of rare just because it's not in production anymore. But um, if you have the Ronin Dew IQO figure, then you've got to get the War Horse. Um, it just looks fantastic. The two of them look fantastic together. So, yeah, let's jump right in. Um, I just want to quickly show you the box. There's not much to see here, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. So, it's just a really big cardboard box. It's got 1944 on it, um, some Japanese writing, not sure what that says, um, and then World War II up in the corner. And then I did want to point out that there are two versions of the War Horse, and I have version B, so which is the brown horse, and then there's also a white War Horse. Um, personally, I like the brown just a little bit better, but the white one also looks really beautiful. So. All right, guys, well, that's the box. Let me bring out the horse for you now. All right, guys, well, here is the war horse. Hey, man, I'm really in love with this. I've owned a total of four horses now, and this is definitely my favorite. I had two dragon model horses that just don't even compare in quality. They were very plasticky and cheap. Um, and then I also owned a Ku model horse and that was definitely similar to this in quality, but I just really love how this looks. I love the paint and all the equipment you're getting, the attention to detail. Um, I'm just really impressed with how this looks. And also it's very, very heavy, which I appreciate. So um, bravo to IQO. I'm really happy they made this for their Ronin Dew figure. So it's hard to get it all in the camera here, so I will be showing it on full display later on in the video. But for now, I just wanted to quickly, well, not quickly, but I just wanted to show you all of the equipment that you get with this in more detail before I put it on display. So, all right, so obviously we've got the saddle here and most of this is already pre-assembled for you. You don't have to do too much assembling with this, but a um, really nice saddle we've got blanket roll here attached that's pre-assembled for you. We've got saddlebags on either side and it looks like canteen. And then there's the figure's saber and what's interesting is that uh, the horse actually comes with its own saber and then the Ronin Dew figure comes with his own saber so if you get both of these you're getting two sabers in total which is interesting. Um, that looks really cool just like that, stuck between the saddlebags. There's one of the stirrups. And then I think these are feed bags. There's one on each side. And then the blanket cover for the horse. I really like that green. It's a nice color. And then, like I said, this is pretty much all pre-assembled for you. You don't have to do too much. Um, all you have to do is just strap it onto the horse, which isn't too hard to do. Just be careful with these straps. They do um, snap very easily if you're not careful. I already snapped one of them, which I had to glue back on. And then here's all the bridle pieces here. Thankfully, this is assembled for you. You don't have to mess with this. Um, the Ku model horse that I got a few years ago. Um, the bridle had to be assembled and it was an absolute nightmare. So I'm very thankful that this is already done for you. You don't have to worry about it and it looks phenomenal. Okay, and then lastly, um, if you're wondering about the, um, the hair on it or fur, it's pretty nice. It's a very coarse material, um, but it looks good. I really like it. Here's the tail once again very coarse material I really like the stance of the horse as well he's got one of his 
legs up. There are the hooves. All right, and then here's the other side of it. Now my only complaint with this is that as soon as I took it out of the packaging, there was already some uh, scuffs on the paint. So um, the paint seems to be a little bit, I guess, delicate. Um, be really careful not to scuff this up because it scratches very, very easily. Um, that really bothers me. But other than that, this is a gorgeous horse. I'm so excited to put this on display. And then um, here's the Ronin Dew figure. There's a, um, there he is standing next to it. If you wanna get kind of a good idea of how big it is, it is very big. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I will be showing this on display with the Ronin Dew figure, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, I did pay, um, I think it was like 180 for this on Time Walker Toys. Um, so I feel like that's a pretty fair price. Like I said, this is out of production now. It's kind of hard to get a hold of. So um, definitely would recommend getting this. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.